Are you an ice skater? Oh, I love it. I did have one experience though where I forgot to bring my tall socks and I got these really bad blisters. You can guarantee I have never forgotten socks since then. <laughs> I, I guess that's something to learn from ice skating. Oh yeah, but it's so much fun up until you slip and fall on your back, but. It doesn't seem cold enough to have an ice skating rink. I was just thinking that. How do they keep it frozen? I guess there's stuff underneath I, it. Well, they do it, they do it for the uh, hockey team, so they must have figured True. out a way. Yeah, magic. We'll call it Christmas magic. <laughs> right now outside, not that great of a view, honestly, but from our Lex cam, you can see a little bit more than the tower cam, but that fog starting to roll in. You can see the Texas State Aquarium right there, 67 degrees and overcast skies right now. And through the state of Texas, we are sitting pretty comfortable here, 67 in Corpus Christi. You can see below us, there's a stationary front. That was a cold front that came through overnight, a pretty weak one, but still gave us a little cool down, but you can see it's uh, separating the warmer air in South Texas from us here in the coastal bend. This evening we are going to stay a little bit warmer than we were yesterday evening and this morning. So temperatures are going to go into the mid 60s instead of the upper 50s. We've got that stationary front and that's going to lift northward as this warm front right here. So that's going to change our winds to a southerly direction, and that's going to bring in lots of moisture off the Gulf of Mexico and give us some warmer temperatures, not only in the morning, but tomorrow afternoon as well. Temperatures are going to get up into the upper 70s, even near or reaching 80 in some places. It'll be a little breezy as well. I think we're going to stay mostly overcast through the day, but into the afternoon, we could see some of those clouds start starting to break and get just a couple peaks of sunshine and that may help boost our temperatures up even a little bit more. By Tuesday morning, we're even warmer with temperatures in the upper 60s and that's going to continue with this trend even warmer on Tuesday afternoon. Again, maybe a little bit more in terms of sunshine by Tuesday afternoon as well. And another thing that moisture is going to do overnight with the light southerly winds is it's going to let us get some fog. We've already got some out there like you saw in the tower cam and Lex cam just a couple minutes ago. That's going to start uh, as soon as uh, now and through midnight, even through tomorrow morning when you're on your way to work. We still have some of that fog hanging around in areas around the coastal bend, but that mostly moves to just the coastline by tomorrow around lunchtime. One more thing, all that moisture is going to do, it's going to mess with our morning lows. We're normally in the low 50s for our mornings where you want a jacket. This week, our average forecast low is in the mid 60s, so that's nearly 15 degrees above average. And our afternoon high temperatures, Wednesday to uh, Wednesday and Thursday, excuse me, going to be nearly 10 degrees above average. So we've got a warm front coming in tonight, potentially a stationary front making its way into our area, and then on on the back half of our seven day forecast, maybe a cold front and I'll explain that here. Here we're going to be warmer than normal because we've got this high pressure situated over the southeast US. Here comes that other cold front, but I think what it's going to do is similar to this previous one where it's stationary and then retreats as a warm front and joins another low pressure system. But I think this one looks a little more promising in terms of making it down into the coastal bend. So we're going to see these above normal temperatures for the next six to 10 days. This is the sixth to 10 day temperature outlook and pushing it to the 8 to 14 day after that second cold front would come through. You can see the probability of being above normal is much lower, so I think that one looks a little bit more promising tonight. That warm front comes in 64 for our low in Corpus Christi foggy tomorrow afternoon temperatures near 80 with a breezy south wind. The wind picks up and it stays here along with the clouds, afternoon sunshine and warm temperatures this week. Welcome to South Texas winter, Brian. Thanks.